everyone, welcome to A Vintage Vanity. And I'm really excited about today's tea time because we are having a proper cup of British tea. Our friend Paula sent us a care package, an absolutely lovely care package from the UK. Um, she had a beautiful note in there and some fun little crafty things. And she also included some of her favorite British tea. And I'm so sorry, I mangled the box thinking that it opened this way, but it didn't, it opened this, this way. Uh, so there's like Earl Grey, Lady Grey, English Breakfast, Assam, which I'm drinking right now. I haven't actually tried it yet. I'm gonna try it live on camera. Assam is a deep amber tea with a rich and multi character. Multi, I don't know what a multi character is, but I cannot wait to find out. And uh, Ceylon? C-E-Y-L-O-N, which is an amber tea as well with a brisk character. And we are so proper. We are having, did you see, we're having biscuits. You know what I was thinking as I was like preparing my plate? I'm like, is it proper to actually put your tea bag on your plate? Because that looks weird. I'm tea bagging my plate. All right, so uh, she also, I was really, really <laughs> pleased. She sent these, they're from Marks and Spencer. I've always wanted to go to Marks and Spencer. And now it's like I have. But she sent these Viennese sandwiches. They're uh, light buttery biscuit sandwich with gorgeous milk chocolate. And I do have to say, I sampled it almost immediately when it came in. And the biscuits are uh, buttery and flaky and delicious, and the chocolate is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I do believe the proper thing to do with biscuits is to dunk them in the tea and let them soften. Mmm. Mmm. That even makes these lovelier. Okay. If that's not the proper way, that's okay. I'm going to do that anyway. Actually, I think, I think Paula actually told me to do that. Mm. Before I try the tea, there's one more thing that um, I want to show you that she sent me because it's so super cute. He's a little owl. I love, I love vintage owl stuff. Ooh, ooh. So now for the Assam tea drinking. Here we go. It smells good. Oh, that's delicious. Delicious. It's really, really smooth. And should I say malty? I don't know if it's malty. I don't know what malty tastes like. All I can think of is either a malted that you get at the um, soda shop or, you know, beer, like malt beer. Mmm. Good Lord, I could drink this by the truckload. This is divine. Mmm. Have you guys ever tried an Assam tea with amber tea? Let me know. So I'm definitely gonna try the other amber tea. <coughs> Let's talk about what's been going on, shall we? How was your couple weeks? Mm -hmm. Let me know, write it all in the comment section. Last weekend, I did another hair demo at the Cat's Pajama Vintage Fair. It was a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, I didn't do any filming this time around just because of my schedule. But I will probably, I will do like kind of a haul. If you guys want to see it, I'll do a haul of what I got. I did a lot of accessories this year. And as well, this last weekend was like a jam-packed weekend. And I was over at my sister's house and <laughs> she, you know, sisters do sisterly things, right? Like piercing your ears or re-piercing your ears. Mm -hmm. I've had my ears pierced for years. I very seldom wear earrings and just because I just remember all the time like being poked in the back of the ear constantly and it drove me nuts but now with like I don't really talk on the phone that much anymore like I used to have a job where I was like on the phone constantly so I'm like you know I just really want my ears pierced again I want to have all my options available to me and I had tried to put in a pair of my favorite earrings that a friend had made for me that had a little gas mask on them very much like um the 
Who's my, are you my mommy episode of Doctor Who. Absolutely love these earrings. I went to put them in one day and I couldn't get, get it through one of the ears. One of the ears had gone shut and I was devastated. So I asked my sister, or I was telling my sister and she was like, oh, I can totally do that for you. I'm like, okay. So I go over there and we have the rubbing alcohol and we have the post. And she's like, well, what, which ear do you need repair? So I'm like, well, it's this one. So we iced it up, <laughs> good, like 10, 15 minutes, ice in the ear so it was good and numb. And she <laughs> takes the earring and just pops it right through. And pretty much was like, are you sure that was the ear? And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. And she's like, it went right through. Of course, I take the other post and try to put it into this ear. And of course, it won't. It goes in a little bit, but that's about it. And I was like, um, I picked the wrong ear. Good thing I'm not a surgeon, right? So, and that time we didn't even ice it. We just kind of popped it right through. It didn't even hurt. So now I've got the little posts in and I've got to wear these for a, a month. But then I will be good to be back into my earrings, which I'm really excited about. But what's funny is that I did this and then almost all the earrings I bought at the Vintage Fair are almost all clip-ons. I know, right? That's just how things work. If you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you probably saw the pictures of the manicure that I got on Friday, which I was super ha happy with the manicure. I went to the salon. I used the salon's polish for the pink. Ouch. Yeah, it is all chipped up right now. This is one of the things that I'm so angry about, but I used the salon's polish for the pink. I brought in my own polish for the red. Because I had this great red from NYX. It was called Vintage, so I thought, <laughs> I have to get it, right? And, like, later that night I had my first chip. By the next day, it was chipped all over the place. And it looked like the edges had been worn off. And I will tell you this. I have been to that salon numerous times. They have done my nails. They are fabulous. So I'm like, I don't think it's the salon. I don't think it was the way the nails were done. I'm starting to think it was the polish. So I'm really interested. If you guys have used any of the NYX polishes, what has been your experience with them? And one of the things that kind of bothers me about it is on a whim, I just bought this nail polish when I was doing a swap with Jamie. So I was like, I'm going to get her one too because <coughs> I wanted to get one for myself. So I, you know, <laughs> one for you, one for me. And I'm like, if this polish is that crappy, and now I'm like, I feel like that I sent Jamie this that I don't like the way it wears. The only upside to the fact that I brought my own polish in for the manicure is I can touch this up. I just haven't had time. So I'm probably going to redo that and hopefully get a little more life out of them. But I will say this. I love the, um, the manicure, the almost like reverse, um, French manicure on the bottom, like with the dip. Uh, absolutely love it. So much so that I wanted to try to recreate it myself. And Mary, who's one of you guys as well, sent me this video on her doing her half moon manicure. And she had used like the French manicure dips. And I really liked the way she did it. So I went to the, what do you call them, the pharmacy, to get the half moon manicure things. Of course, I couldn't find them. The only thing that I was able to find is these Kiss Design Perfection, and it has um, chevrons, French manicure tips, half moon, and sweetheart. So I'm really intrigued to try this out. It comes with two sheets, 84 guides. I, if this is a success, I will actually show you. I will do a video on it if it's successful. I'm not that good at polishing my nails. I love to do it, but I am a sloppy, sloppy polisher. <laughs> What about you guys? Are you a good polisher? Because there's some people out there who like do almost a salon worthy treatment on their fingers. Super jelly if that's you. I wonder how my lipstick lasted. Did it last through all the drinking and the biscuit eating? 
This is the Kat Von D uh, Liquid Lipstick in Outlaw. I am actually doing a um, like a test comparison between that and the Lime Crime because I really want to find out which one actually takes the cake because uh, I like them most so far. So I'm very curious to see how this is wearing. All right, um, that is it for today's tea time. I hope you guys really enjoyed kind of sitting back and chatting. And since conversations are two-way streets, go ahead in the comment section and start your side of the conversation. I look forward to hearing what you guys have been up to. And I will see you soon. Have a great day. Bye.